Hi guys, today we're good. I'm gonna be taking the egg sack away from my hysterocrates gigas, my my giant baboon, and opening it. I so the story is that I I have two importers of the exotic pets that I usually buy from. So one of them I bought this giant baboon from, and then. Next day, she laid her, she gave an egg sack, so I didn't have a chance to rehouse her. So, let's begin this battle. So, this is the giant baboon. And now, She's in here. <sighs> okay. Okay, we got the egg sack. Okay, this was my technique of taking the egg sack away from a tarantula. So basically first, you get a straw and blow the tarantula and then it leaves the egg sack itself and goes into aggressive mode. So then I sneakily took the egg sack out of the cage and just took it. So now let's cut open the egg sack. Okay, now I'm cutting open the egg sack. You'll need mini scissors for this, because if you want mini scissors, you can, but I'm using my hand. Oh my god, it's true. So, I just noticed that this is pretty strong. They seem to be egg. So I have to remove this stuff out of the box. As you remember, this was a part of my DIY incubator. Aha, uh -huh. they look so cute. Oh, bad ones. So you have to make sure you separate the ones that are black because they may destroy all of your eggs. Seems to be more than I expected.
束。One big thanks to my suppliers. Okay, it's empty. Okay, now I've got all the eggs inside. So I'm just separating the one that are bad. Oh no. Okay, I've separated the bad ones. Just leave it for now. As you can see, they're completely spreaded out. So now I'll just have to move them into the DIY enclosure. I mean, incubator. My bad. As you remember in my first video, I showed you the holes for water. And if you don't, here it is. Just if you remember, in my first video, I showed you the four holes at the edges for the temperature of my DIY incubator. I did count the eggs. There are approximately 70 to 80 of them, which is a good result. Guys, you saw my technique. Blowing the tarantula with a straw, then she goes into aggressive mode, then I sneakily take the egg sack away. Guys, we don't have to wrestle or battle with the tarantula to take the egg sack away. Every day, I have to keep an eye on the eggs for the moisture level and the temperature. Hope you guys liked this video. Oh, by the way, my next video is going to be on rehousing this giant baboon. And have a good day in whichever part of the world you are in.